be strong. Be starting my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell button for more video please subscribe to rick your ph thank you doc willy po pag-usapan natin bagong sakit bubonic plague naging epidemic to dati marami na matay dito ba't natin pinag-uusapan meron kasi ilang kaso nakikita sa ibang bansa uh, dapat ba tayo matakot Uh, sa tingin ko naman, di naman naaabot dito. Pero dati sa Pilipinas, meron na tayong bubonic plague eh, galing to sa daga. So, ang point ko lang, dapat medyo alam na natin to, mag-ingat lang tayo para at least aware na tayo maaga pa. Yan, nababalita na sa news, may lang uh, bubonic plague. Actually, nasa Inner Mongolia, nag-level 3 alert sila. Pero meron tong bubonic plague dati sa Pilipinas, sa Africa, sa US, meron din to. Kasi galing siya sa daga. Okay, sa mga squirrels. Yan, no? Mula sa fleas ng daga. Fleas is pulgas. Eh. Diba yung mga hayop natin, may mga pulgas. Kaya natin binabantayan tong bubonic plague. Ang tawag sa kanya, black death. Eh. Nakakatakot siya. Siya ang pinakamaraming namatay sa kasaysayan. Around 50 million to 100 million ang namatay. Tinalo pa niya yung Spanish flu. Okay, ganito karami nung 14th century, 1347. Ang daming paintings, pwede nyo i-search about bubonic plague na nagkakamatay yung tao noong 14th century. Ayan, no? wala silang magamot nun. Wala pa silang antibiotics nun eh. Ito po, bacteria. Okay, hindi to pareho sa COVID na virus. Ang plague bacteria nakikita sa mga daga at ibang small mammals. Pag nakagat ka nitong pulgas ng fleas, Lalabas yung sintomas, 1 to 7 days, flu-like symptoms. Dapat ma-diagnose kasi pag hindi na laman, 30% to 100% na mamatay. Ito po, oh, sa daga, oh, pasensya na, medyo nakaka, ano, ah. ito, ang daming mga pulgas, ba? Diba? Yan, pag yan ang kumagat sa atin, lalo na kung merong plague yan, Yersinia pestis ang pangalan, eh, magdelikado po. Eh, minsan lumilipat yan sa aso, sa pusa, o tatama sa atin. Ayan po, ang dami. Oh. Ganito po, mula sa daga, ay eh, sa Pilipinas, ang dami natin daga. Dahil sa basura, di ba? Madudumi. So, pag sa daga, kung meron siyang plague, ayan o, oh, kung yung pulgas niya, ayan o, oh, pag kumagat yung pulgas, yung pulgas, magkakaroon siya ng bakterya. Tapos, pag yung pulgas, ang kumagat sa tao, magkaka-plague yung tao, at pag hindi nagamot, 30% to 100% na mamatay. Kaya marami namatay noong 14th century. Ang sintomas niya, lagnat, sakit ng ulo. Pero po, may tatlong klaseng plague. Iba-iba. Uh, merong bubonic plague, merong tinatawag septicemia plague sa dugo, may pangatlo na pneumonic plague. Iba-iba ang sintomas, iba-iba yung presentation. Unahin natin yung pinaka-common bubonic plague. Kaya tinawag na bubonic plague, ang bubose kasi kulani eh. Bubose is kulani siya. So, magkakaroon ng lagnat at kulani sa singit, sa kilikili, sa leeg. Malaki yung mga kulani niya. Bilog ang lalaki, parang ping pong ball, chicken egg size. Masakit, biglang lagnat, headache, yan, muscle ache. So, ito bubonic plague. Mamaya bibigay ko yung gamutan. Meron ding septicemic plague sa dugo naman kumakalat. Ito, nakakatakot ito yung black death. Yan, no? Nangingitim ang kamay, ang paa na gagangrene. Eh. Nasisira yung blood supply. Nagdurugo ang bibig, ang katawan. Nagsyashak. Mabilis mamatay dito. Septicemic plague. Yung pangatlong klase, pneumonic plague, pulmon niya. Ito, mas bihira siya mangyari, pero mabilis kumalat to Kasi ang kalat nito, pulmon niya. Eh. Tao sa tao. So, hindi na katulad ng unang dalawa sa pulgas, di ba? Ito, tao sa tao eh. So, pag ubo to, kailangan nakamask to. Di ba? Sintomas niya, sintomas ng pulmonya. Ubo, hirap kuminga, lagnat, headache. 
Ang diagnosis, pag nagkaroon ng outbreak sa isang lugar, malalaman na may outbreak ng bubonic plague, uh, gagamutin na agad ng doktor. Pero kung yung diagnosis talaga, misa nahanap yung bacteria dun sa kulani, pwede itest yung dugo, pwede itest yung plema. Ito ang pinakamahalaga po, gamutan. Okay? Swerte tayo kasi ang plague, bacteria siya. At ang bacteria napapatay ng antibiotics. Ito yung uh, panggamot natin sa plague. Antibiotics, ciprofloxacin, very common to, magagandang gamot. Doxycycline, gentamicin, libofloxacin. Ito laban sa mga bacteria, kahit sa mga tulo, leptospirosis. Yan ang mga gamutan natin, UTI, di ba? Pero talaga nire-reserve natin yan. So with gamutan, mas maganda ang laban. Pero meron pa rin namamatay kahit nagagamot na antibiotic kasi matapang nga yung sakit eh. Kaya pinakamaganda, prevention. Uh, paano pag-prevent? Dok Lisa, yung mga basura, di ba? Dami pag, pag walang basura, walang daga. Ay, nasa daga nga, daga. Rats, mice, squirrels, di ba? Dapat malisnis yung bakura natin kung maraming uh, damo-damo, baka doon manirahan yung mga hayop, bug repellent, pamatay ng flea bite sa pulgas, Mag-wear ng gloves, lalo sa wild animals, may flea control spray. At huwag hayaan natin yung aso at pusa natin na lumabas ng bahay. Baka mahawa sila doon sa mga daga. So ito po, control the rodent population. Ito po yung black death dati. Ayan, ang dami na matay. Ayan yung mga paintings noon. Sa Pilipinas dati meron noon, 1913, no? 55 patients sa intramuros na corona bubonic plague. So sabihin, meron din dito sa atin. Baka konti lang, hindi na report Maganda nga kung konti lang. Okay, so ingat-ingat po. Uh, hindi naman dapat mag-alala, pero at least inaaral ko na habang maaga pa, tingnan natin yung mga kaso sa ibang bansa, at medyo alerto rin tayo na tingin-tingin lang. Okay, so maglinis, basura, kung may mga dadaga, kailangan ma ma maalis yung mga dadaga. God bless po. Night Farm, an outbreak of Black Death, or actually the bubonic plague, has just been found in China. And this sounds really bad, because if it spreads further, it is much worse than COVID-19. In comparison, COVID so far has killed 0.006% of the population, while in the past it is estimated that bubonic plague could have killed even up to 60% of Europe, and is the most fatal pandemic in the human history. Its symptoms are also much more scary than those of COVID-19. In some cases, it can cause huge apple-sized black spots on the body, mouth bleeding, and many more things no human should ever experience. Only a zombie outbreak could top it off. So, how did someone get this thing and what does it mean to us? Well, I have some good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news. This is a marmot. Marmot, together with some other rodents, can carry a plague. And a person who fell sick to the bubonic plague, a herdsman from China, ate its meat. And it frustrates me, because marmots have historically been linked to outbreaks of plague in this region. After COVID-19, China is really testing everyone's patience here. Although, in their defense, Local authorities have said not to hunt marmots. And it's more of a choice of the locals who see marmots as the delicacy. A delicacy carrying a disease that in the past killed 200 million people. Now, if we only focus on the facts from the past, this sounds incredibly scary. But this video is not to make you panic. It's actually to calm you, your friends and your family down. Time for the good news. The media make it sound as if bubonic plague was just discovered for the first time in hundreds of years, but this is not the first discovery. Truth is, anywhere between 1 to 2,000 people get this plague every year. The only reason why this time 
time the news reached everyone is because of COVID-19 and because it happened in China. Another very important knowledge that will calm you down is that nowadays bubonic plague can be treated with antibiotics. Truth is, it killed such an incredible amount of people only because it happened in 14th century when antibiotics didn't exist. Today, the possibility of this becoming an outbreak is incredibly small, yet we still cannot underestimate it. We need to react to news like this as soon as possible. The Earth is sending us signals. I said it before and I will say it again. Humans are not supposed to eat everything that moves. Many countries, especially China, need much more strict laws on wildlife consumption. Anyone about to bite on a marmot's meat should ask themselves if it's worth to pay a huge fine or to go to prison for risking an outbreak. This is not about vegetarianism or meat. This is about global safety. Even if it's not fully confirmed that COVID-19 started from eating a bat, what is fully confirmed is that we got Ebola from a bat, MERS from a camel, HIV from a monkey, and now bubonic plague from a marmot. Ladies and gentlemen, how many more diseases do we need to finally wake up to the truth? How many more economic disasters need to happen? How many more animals need to suffer? How many more people need to die until we realize there is no meat so good that is worth to die for?